Hey everybody. Alright, so I thought I'd take an opportunity to go over some of the stuff I got in the mail when I got back home after a month and a half on the road. Anyways. Okay, so I posted the video about the parts on the AR and then the AR when it was complete. Uh, okay, so how am I going to do this? Well, let's take some of this crap off the table. And I don't know why I did all that because it's kind of in the way. All right. So put the sticker over here. So, oh, I got two things for the AR. They're both the same thing, but they're different. And so, basically, you want to take your AR scuba diving with you. Maybe. Maybe you're a Navy SEAL and you need a weapon permission. You need to be ready to fire underwater. Maybe you're a scuba diver and you're afraid of sharks. You need to be able to fire your AR underwater. Well, how would you do that? Well, there's a couple of different products that uh, seaborne warriors you choose to use. And I got two examples of those from different companies. So let's put this off to the side for a second. Okay. This is a Nemo bag. And then it's jump rated. And basically this is a dry bag for your AR. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video right now, and I'm going to put the uh, AR on top. Well, no, I don't have to stop the video. I'm good enough so I can just do this. So, the AR goes in the bag, something like that. And then you're able to access the controls by sliding your hand up through here. And in here... There's a spl See. It's a little bit stretchy material in there. Okay, so I am going to pause this now. Okay, so got the weapon in the bag. Muzzle's right about there. Butt stock is right about there. And then when you reach in, it's going to go on. Let's see. This gets you down and put like that. Okay. So there's the end of the buttstock. There's your handle, your hand hole. And then you just kind of conform your hand around the pistol grip. And on the other side of the bag, there's another. And this way, you reach up in here and you can manipulate the safety. See? You hear that? Watch. Listen. Okay, so you basically tighten this down, this gets folded down over, watch, oh crap, hold on, alright, so the bag is full, it is sealed, basically you roll it up like a dry bag. And you get a little latch right there. You get some nice 
bag containment strappage. Get it all nice and compact once it's in. Muzzle strap. Let's see how I'm going to show this. All right. So, you know, just hang this from the neck. Throw that around. So, okay. So, there's the bag hanging, hands free, right there next to your body. Probably get a couple of straps and strap them to your dry dry suit or or combat swimmer suit. Keep it all nice out of the way. You need to use it. Bring it around. Put your hand in the pocket. Grab the pistol grip. And I'm on fire. Yep. There you go. Bang. Okay, so this does not look like you can replace the end. So this is a one-time use bag. This damn thing. Alright. So, on to the next one. Alright. So, the second bag we're going to look at is by Divers Unlimited International, DUI. This is the WP-1000. It is uh, another dive shoot-through bag. This one uses a sealed zipper. See the seal in there? Or we could use a little wax on the zipper because it is very, very tight. Um, okay, so let me get the the banger in the bag and uh, we'll be right back okay so before I put the banger in the bag I just wanted to show you the inside inside the bag damn it, there is a built-in glove and on the flip side, you'll see the hole. That's the hole. And then right here, we have a neoprene ex expandable boxy thingy. And this is where your spent rounds go. If you have to use the shoot through feature. And this is the muzzle end, of course. This is replaceable. Got to send it to, back to DUI to get it replaced, though. They have a newer version that has a O-ring zip, so it's easily replaceable in the field by the operator. Okay, so again, let's get the banger in the bag. Okay, again, sits right nice to the side of the body. You flip it around here, put your hand in the glove. Come on, finger. There you go. Okay. So, hands in the glove. Okay. Hands in the glove, and I can manipulate the safety and the trigger. Because I'm an idiot, I did not charge the weapon so I can't pull the trigger but it does work and uh, actually of the two this one is way higher quality obviously and um, I do believe not that I've used either shoot through function in these bags um, this one would seem to be able to have some follow-up shots where I do believe with the Nemo bag the way it is set up the way the Nemo bag is set up once it's folded over 
sealed up. When you pull the trigger, it's going to go bang. I almost can guarantee it's going to go bang. I, it will go bang. But I do not think it will cycle. I think that this bag is too tight. There's not enough room for the round two, the expended round to eject the case. And I do believe it would initiate a failure to feed. Whereas the WP-1000 with this doodad right here, I'm sure you're going to get a few shots off before you get a malfunction. Anybody's used either of these bags with their intended shoot through feature, if you could just drop a comment, that'd be awesome. I'd really be interested in hearing any feedback on that. That's just my initial impressions. But I did buy these bags for a reason. And maybe down the road, I will uh, clue you all in on that reason. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this little trip into an oddity of the firearms world. You don't see videos on these very often at all. And uh, you guys want me to put them underwater or something? Maybe down the road I will on video. All right, well, have a wonderful day.